Texas. So you guys ready to do this shit tonight or what? Hey, look, it's Red Band, everybody. Hey, there he is. How about a hand for the band, everyone, huh? That is the Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey Band, the official uh, sponsor of the Kill Tony Band. You guys are at Kill Tony. We gonna have fun tonight or what, huh? Here, Vulcan, brought to you by the Red Rose and the Yellow Rose. Very, very exciting stuff. And our newest sponsor, White Claw. Oh, Everybody, yeah. how about a hand for White Claw? We've all been there many times. Delicious. <laughs> Gets you drunk. No doubt about it. We are excited to have them be part of the Kill Tony family. Also, of course, CM Smokehouse of Bolden Acres. And if you're watching the YouTube video, I've been told to tell you to subscribe and like. Smash it. Anyway, you have a lot of energy here today. I'm excited about that. That's always good. And, uh, yeah, a lot of fun stuff. Be sure to follow Best Barbecue, our friend Yoni, out there with the fucking handy cam. And, uh, yeah, here's a little bit more about the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you here right now. The 2022 tour starts now. I'm doing stand-up comedy by myself in Las Vegas, Nevada. Holland, Michigan, the 25th of February. Grand Rapids, the 26th. Raleigh, North Carolina, March 11th and 12th. Uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I'm back with you again. It's been a while. April 8th and 9th. Miami, Florida, April 21st to the 23rd. Phoenix, uh, May 5th to the 7th. Salt Lake City, Wise Guys, one of the best clubs in the world, May 20th and 21st. And uh, more dates are being added regularly. Get tickets at TonyHinchcliffe.com. Hey, y'all. The moment we've been waiting for since September is finally here. In honor of the big game, DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 56, is giving new customers 56 to 1 odds on either team. Bet just $5 and you will win. 280 in free bets if your team wins. I love DraftKings. I use them exclusively all the time because they have so many betting options and ways for me to win big prizes. I love this stuff. I use them for uh, NFL, uh, UFC, famously. Um, I've gotten some real big wins with DraftKings, and they are now live in New York, meaning you can bet from almost a third of the country. And if Sportsbook isn't in your state yet, play DraftKings Daily Fantasy Football Contest for Super Bowl 56. New customers can get a free shot at a $1 million top prize with their first deposit. Call now, all your friends, because you're going to want to download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Use promo code TONY and get 56 to 1 odds on either team. Bet just $5 and get 280 free bets if your team wins. That's promo code TONY at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 56. 21 plus minimum age and location requirements vary by jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for full list of requirements and state specific responsible gaming resources. Void were prohibited. Gambling problem. Call 1-800-GAMBLER in Tennessee. Call or text DT and redline 1-800-889-979 in Connecticut. Call 888-7977 or visit ccpg.org slash chat. In New York, call 877-8-H-O-P-E-N-Y or text H-O-P-E-N-Y at 467-369. <laughs> Man, it is funny how great this deal is. <laughs> it's simple, people. Don't be an idiot. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, use promo code TONY, and get 56 to 1 odds on either team. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 56. You guys ready to start tonight's episode or what? Beautiful. Every single week, I have an amazing guest on this week. No different. I'm very, very excited that this man is in town. One of my favorite human beings, one of my favorite comedians, Legion of Skanks, future U.S. president, Dave Smith, everybody, is here. Hell yeah, play some fucking music. Where the where is the band? There you go. Hell yeah, thank you. Yikes. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Dave Smith is here. What's up? How What's are you? What's up, everybody? How yeah. are you? This is fucking 
This is incredible. This is the coolest uh, Kill Tony venue yet. This is awesome. This is it. We this came to a- Austin and we fucking leveled up a bunch. Being, Fuck- being canceled is treating you well. Hell yeah. This is it. I got to start shitting on Asians more. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. Stay loyal to Joe Rogan and <laughs> shit on everybody else. Uh, it is a perfect business model. And Pfizer. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome back to the show, Dave. I, this is the first time I've ever been lucky enough to have you on solo. Normally, you're with the whole fucking legion of skanks, all these gobbledygooks out there, those high-energy guys. We get to yeah. spend this evening with you, the brains, the backbone. Yeah, those guys are uh, racist, and it's not cool. You know how just, I feel. I'm trying to distance myself from them. You know how I feel about that. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun here tonight. We're going to watch comedians do comedy, or at least try to. I got a bunch of names in this bucket. If I pull their name out, that means they get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know their time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means they have to wrap it up then, or else they're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Sounds like that. So it's an annoying sound, so they have to respect their times. And then I interview them, and we talk to them afterwards. You guys ready to start this fucking thing, or what? This is it. Guys. Nobody does Mondays like us here in Texas. Are you guys ready to start this fucking episode tonight? There you go. Going up first tonight, we're going to do a regular instead of a bucket pull before we meet somebody new. Let's go with a brand new local fucking legend on this show. This guy kills with a brand new minute every single week. Always fun to find more about his life. Find out more about his life. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Hans Kim. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I think when liberal people say that they're street smart, what that usually means is that they're good at ignoring black people in public. <laughs> <Do, do, do. laughs> Don't make eye contact, Timmy. You might make a human connection. You think uh, people who play music out loud in public have ever crossed paths with each other? Think they've ever been like, man, that guy's annoying. (laughs) Wait a minute. Have I been annoying this whole time? Um, A lot of people make fun of Asians for having small eyes. Uh, The reason why we have small eyes is because we have an extra layer of skin over our eyeballs to insulate it from the cold. So if we were to ever go camping, my eyes would be nice and warm. And I could watch as your vitreous fluid would freeze and expand and explode (laughs) inside your Caucasian eyeball. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Hans Kim, doing it again. Here he is. Someone went to Kohl's before this. Look at that shirt, huh? That's brand new. What the fuck is that, dude? Where the hell did you get that at, Hans? I know new Hans clothes when I see it. (laughs) This is a new uh, from Kohl's. You actually guessed it correctly. No way. That's impossible. I went to return my Amazon merchandise, and then I had to go to Kohl's, and I was like, hey, they got nice clothes. Absolutely. Why'd you return Amazon merchandise? Um, I was just buying a mic to record a podcast, and then I was done with the podcast, so I just returned it. Wow. Look at that. This guy, thrifty, thrifty little Asian you are. (laughs) Hell yeah. Uh, Is that true about the eyes? Is that true about Asian eyes? Yeah, I think it's a Mongol thing. (laughs) No. Uh. That that last part was a legit science lesson? I think so. You think so? so? No. Yeah. What are you, Anthony Fauci? What the fuck do <laughs> you mean you think so? If you're going to talk about science, you have to sort of fucking have something to cite. Well, I thought it was true. I <laughs> felt like it was true. This is very suspicious. Somehow that's more racist about Asians than anything I've ever said or done in my entire life. <laughs> but I guess you can get away with it. But like... So where's the origin of you knowing this? Is it like Google told you or like your um, crazy grandma? <laughs> I, uh, I think I looked it up. I Googled it. Wikipedia, maybe Epicanthal Folds. Whoa. Uh, Damn, you got Asian real quick. Did you hear that? That's a word we've never heard before. 
Yes, that's a or word maybe of the like day. Sex at Dawn or like history, or, uh, hardcore history. So it felt it felt very official the way I I felt it come into my head. Was <laughs> that such a problem in Asia that you guys had to evolve to avoid your freezing <laughs> eyeballs? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, if you're up north, I mean, I guess Scandinavian people have big eyeballs. Yeah, your theory doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're looking at it. It mentions a lot about Asian heritage and Down syndrome in the same, uh, in the same paragraph. It's also saying it, it's mostly on lizards. Okay. Hans, I mean. enough about your eyelids. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about life. What have you been up to this week? What's going on? Always interesting to find out what's going on in the world of Hans Kim. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of my Catan podcast, Settlers of Catan. Um, I've been playing some basketball. It's a board game for nerds, if you don't know, everybody. So he's, he's a little bit autistic and thought that would be cool to mention at that part. <laughs> How many hand jobs did you get this week, Hans? That's what everybody wants to know. <laughs> I got one hand job, and I got like five full intercourses. Whoa! Wow. This is big. This is big. For people, maybe you don't know, Dave. It's been a little dry spell for a while. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, I think that's the perfect hand job to intercourse ratio. Yeah, 100%. One to five. One to five. One dry hand job to five <laughs> normal human intercourses. <laughs> Some natural and animalistic. That's how it's supposed to go. Cavemen, by the way, never gave each other hand jobs. <laughs> cavemen and cave women just fucked. A little fun fact for you. I mean, I know about as much as that about as you do it about Asian eyelids, but uh, again, I'm just all right. So let's talk about this intercourse with the same girl that was only exclusively giving you hand jobs for weeks. No, this is the girl that gave me a hand job two weeks ago and then went to Detroit. Wow, I'm getting them all mixed up in my hand job <laughs> head over here. Uh, went to Detroit, came back, and just started fucking you? Yeah. Wow. How did this start? How did this happen? Well, she gave me a hand job. We connected via text message. She flew in. I picked her up in my van that I live in. And then yeah. we went to the house that I'm squatting in. Okay. And then we've been banging ever since. Wow. Is she here tonight? Probably. <laughs> really? Yeah. How bad is what she saw in Detroit that she came back yeah. and went, I gotta start fucking that squatter. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, it's freezing up here. I wish I had more eyelid skin. <laughs> How many of you think this girl that's been fucking Hans should come up here and give him a big kiss, huh? It's been a long time since we had a girl make out with Hans. It's been months. Hans, do you think she'll come down? Is she shy? She's going to come down. Yeah. Sure. Look at this easy bitch. Let's do it. Whoa. Oh, my God. Wow. Jesus Christ. Hans is out of his league. I love this. Look at this. Wow. Holy shit. Look at that. That's a Detroit 11 right there. I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but... Oh, shit. All right. Holy shit. Yes. Looks like she's only been through a couple divorces. This is cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What's your name, sweetheart? How are you? I'm good. My name is Elise. Elise. Hell yes. yeah. Hell yeah. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> I bet. I, I love it. How long are you visiting Austin for? I'm going to be here till the third. Okay. All right. And what's your favorite thing about making love with Hans Kim? It's very sensual. Oh, hell yeah. He's just trying to not come. I know what he's doing. <laughs> wow, he makes love to me so slowly. It's incredible. It's literally one pump a minute. It's amazing. He's such a romantic. It is. Fuck yeah. I love it. It's fun. I love it. I love it. Does he have any special tricks in the bedroom? Is there anything that he does specifically that you notice that he's like a specialist at? Well, I can tell you he appreciates it. You wow. Know? <laughs> oh my goodness. And I feel like that's like that's important, you know. This is incredible. There's intimacy, there's appreciation. What I gas like station did you two meet at exactly? I wanna know. I wanna know the exact Chevron. Not BP, I promise. Wow. Where did you guys meet after one of these shows? Where could you say at the other creek in the cave officially? Yeah, I uh did a show and she was on it and she told Oh, a she story. does comedy? I do. Oh no. I know. 
oh, that's the worst. I thought you were so cool. It's like, oh, she's just, she's just fucking Hans for the love of the game. Uh, turns out now. How many of you think we should see 60 seconds from her right now? All right, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Kill Tony debut of a woman that is only here solely for the reason of fucking Hans Kim. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the debut of Elise, everyone. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here, yes. It is like fucking 10 uh, inches of snow coming in, so that does suck, but I guess if I was to get pulled from the bucket, because I did sign, this would be my minute spot. And I think, you know what? (laughs) It's fucked up when you try to like recover and like get your credit together just for someone to steal it. It's fucked up. Really, like I'm spending all this money and getting those numbers up to like 750, and then before you know it, I get that call like, "Hey, uh, someone just bought your a uh, house in your name, has a license and a new life out in uh, France." <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, man? Anywho, to move on from that, what's great about being a criminal is that uh, if someone was to kill me, I wouldn't be Jane Doe. My fingerprints and my hair, all that's in the system. And I watch enough for forensic files to at least, if I was to, you know, be raped or whatnot, I would hope to swallow the cum or at least scratch him to get some DNA. Elise, ladies and gentlemen, that is, uh, that is exactly the quality of comedy that I expected. I swear, thank you. I mean, it's unbelievable. Turns out Hans is the only funny bone that's ever been in your body. That's pretty exciting. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, we activated the... Ooh, I hit... I hit the super bonus on that with the light guy. That's cool. Yeah, this I, is not how I expected to get here. Dave I, Smith, uh, what do you think about what just happened here? I, I don't know about you, but I very much enjoy seeing women in comedy fuck their way to the bottom. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> she earned exactly what she got, Tony. I love it. Wow. I love it. You did, uh, you did comedy like Hans makes love. You took your time, that's for sure. We're still waiting for your first punchline right now. The set ended two minutes ago, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, do you perform a lot in Detroit? No, I don't. There's not a big scene. No. No. No, I bet. That's how I, I could tell. It is. I'm so, I know it is. I'm like not I ready. love it. I love it. But I'm learning. But you're a good person. What are you good at? You have any special skills or talents? You seem like the kind of girl that could fucking tie a cherry into a knot or whatever, you know what I mean? I mean honestly, I'm pretty n- big nerd. I like art and I like, you know, watching YouTube videos and oh, dance on my off time. Hell guess, yeah. You know? What a fucking cheap date this is. Look at this. Hans has it all figured out over here. I love it. Are at least you, uh, it, Oh. Aren't, aren't you a stripper? I am. Whoa! Look at Hans. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Camel toe Tony, to the stage. Tony asked you what you're good at and if you have any special skills. And yeah. you threw out, I watch YouTube videos <laughs> when you were sitting on I'm a stripper. <laughs> How many of you think she should strip for us right now? I'm just well, I'm kidding. bad at dancing, but I can at least pop my butt. What'd you say? I'm pretty bad at dancing. I'm terrible, you know. So uh, well, I can pop my butt. I, the I only thing, pop. you know, I, I'm used to, I don't know if you know this, but the two best strip clubs in the world just happen to be here in Austin, Texas. <laughs> the Red Rose and the Yellow Rose. Uh, I, I'm used to seeing the best strippers on the planet here. I've, it's been a long time since I've seen a bad stripper. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see some bad <laughs> stripping here. Uh... Just, there, it hit the music part of it, Red Band. You could just, there you go. There you go. All right. Very good. Perfect. Nothing better than 15 seconds. Wow. All right. Oh, my goodness. This is the greatest show on planet Earth, everybody. Wow. Hell yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Elise, that's enough. That's enough. I don't want to. We're facing a pending lawsuit here, it appears. This is incredible. My God. Now I know why her answer was watching YouTube videos. (laughs) 
Wow, that is incredible. That was some bad stripping. You were correct. But again, I bet in Detroit, I bet you're just the fucking boss master up there, huh? All right, Elise, I'm sick of you. Uh, Hans, grab the microphone. What are your guys' plans up until the third? What are you going to do with this girl? You're just going to... We're going horseback riding. Whoa. Look out. Uh, Other than that. Hell yeah. Look at that. We're going to bone a lot. Wow. You're going to ride some horses and bone a lot. Very good. Either way, I feel like you're going to need ivermectin with this one. Uh, All right. So much fun. Hans Kim, another brand new minute. I can't believe that uh, this all happened. That was so much fun. There goes Elise and Hans Kim, everyone. Thank you, Tony. Back to their separate ways. Wow. We're, we're on pace for this to be the episode of the year already. Amy Schumer's leaving, but I'm telling you, I think that I think we're going to have fun here tonight. All right, your first comedian out of the bucket. Goes by the name of Nico Jordan, everyone. These people waited out in the rain all day for this. Nico Jordan making his way to the stage. Here he comes. One more time for Nico, everybody. I, uh, I lost my job recently. I uh, was a substitute teacher, was actually fired for not following COVID protocol. It's kind of bullshit, though, you know? You take your mask off for one second to spit in a kid's face, and <laughs> everyone freaks out. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? These deaf kids don't listen. <laughs> Every time I see one of those gender reveal parties, there's part of me that hopes that that kid turns out to be trans. Just to teach those parents a little lesson about assuming one's gender. Yeah, maybe don't. Gender is a spectrum, right? But so is autism, so... Maybe you weren't born in the wrong body. Maybe your dick's just a little retarded. Thank you. Nico Jordan. Your first time here on Kill Tony, is that correct? Yes, sir. Welcome, Nico. How, how are you? I'm doing great. Hell yeah. I like your style, man. How Thank long have you been you. doing stand-up? About a year. All of it here in Austin, Texas? I did a month and a half in Reno. <laughs> month and a half? Is that where you started? Yeah. Okay. Is that where you're originally from? No, I'm from uh, L.A. area, Santa how'd, Clarita. How'd you end up in Reno? Uh, my girlfriend got a job out there and I uh, you still with her or did you murder her I'm still with her <laughs> you do you have American psycho energies over here no doubt about it yeah but it, but it's like young poor American psycho yeah. like it before is. he figured it out it is he's dressed like the uh, supervisor of a landscaping crew <laughs> some guy that just sprays roundup around your house and then fucking lets the Monsanto settle into your water stream uh, you really a substitute teacher? Yes. Okay, and but you have been working. What's that? You 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 are employed? Oh yeah, I'm still substitute teaching. I no. pretended I got fired. Uh, do you teach specific grades or subjects or anything? Uh, I usually do uh, middle school and high school, but I've been sticking to high school more often. All right. All subjects. And you're still with this girlfriend of yours? Yeah. How uh, long have you guys up, been together? Coming up on seven years. What does she do? She uh, just started working for Yeti. She does marketing for Yeti. Wow. Oh, okay. I don't know if I should say that. Seven this is fine. years. <laughs> how do you keep it? How do you keep it uh, amazing after seven years? That's a long time. Uh, how old are you? Twenty-four. Wow. So this is your. This is the only woman you've ever been with. <laughs> pretty much. She's a, she's a good one. And by pretty much, you mean yes. Yeah. <laughs> Or we, yeah. or he, he was either embarrassed about only fucking one chick or he's cheated a lot. Yeah. Either, <laughs> judging on that pause. I mean, he's giving himself a hand job right now, so it's pretty incredible. Take your hand out of those corduroys, you son of a bitch. 
Look at the thick lanes on those pants. That's incredible. I could drive a car right up one of <laughs> one of the seams of those corduroys. Are those hand-me-downs from a family member or something like that, or did you pick those out yourself? You got uh, those in uh, Reno. Was that a Reno purchase? Yeah, these were from um, Reno, actually. I think they uh, they might have been used. I yeah. can't, my girlfriend got them for me. Yeah. Do they pay substitute teachers by letting you raid the lost and found? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I found a pair of the janitor's pants. Perfect. I'll wear these in, on my adventure into show business. I love it. Nico, you have a real name like Nico. When I said Nico Jordan, I wasn't really expecting uh, someone that looks exactly like one of Donald Trump's illegitimate children to walk up here. <laughs> I was picturing more of a shooting guard, yeah. if you know what I mean. Exactly. <laughs> Number 11, Nico Jordan. See how that has a ring to it? Yeah. You don't play basketball at all, do you? You're probably playing fucking board games with Hans. <laughs> I try to play basketball sometimes. I'm pretty bad yeah. for how tall I am. Right, right. What else do you do for fun? What else are you into? What are some hobbies of Nico Jordan? Uh, I record a podcast on a canoe. Uh, okay. Other than that, <laughs> that sounds literally like the worst. I'd, ra I'd rather listen to Elise's one-hour comedy special than uh, <laughs> your fucking canoe podcast. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus How Christ. many episodes have you lost? <laughs> lost? Oh. <laughs> like None yet. None yet. All right, well. Yeah. What else? Other than your fucking gay-ass canoe podcast, what else? <laughs> you must do things for fun, right, Nico? You have hobbies. Yeah. Uh, I like to ride my bike. I like to go snowboarding. Uh, what else? To, surfing when I was in California, but... What are, you, what's, what are you afraid of? What's something that you're scared of? Uh, bombing in front of people. Okay, uh, what else? What's something I'm scared of? Yeah, like at home, like something that you have a, you have a, a, a definite fear of. Mm. I don't know. What would be like an example of that? I mean, if I was you, I'd be scared of like walking into the bathroom without the lights on and seeing my own reflection. <laughs> But then again, we basically do have the same bone structure, so it really doesn't count. <laughs> I'm really trying to make fun of you for something that actually exists in my real life. Every once in a while, I'll, make, I'll be like, oh my God, who is that? Oh, it's me. <laughs> All right. Is, uh, your, is, 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 is your mom or dad Asian? Dad? No. Red band. Why were you named Nico? My parents just picked the name. They just liked it. There's no meaning to it or anything. It's a really <laughs> Japanese name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, some say Greek, too. I don't know. I think it works. Do you have brothers it. and sisters? I got an older and a younger brother. Older and a younger brother. Yeah. What do they do? My older brother is uh, in tech sales. My younger brother is a firefighter. What, did you, what do you think? Because you seem like a tall glass of water, Nico. <laughs> uh, what do you think is the uh, most dangerous thing or most criminal thing you've ever done in your life? Oh, me? Yeah. Shit. Yes. Yes, you, the person pulled out of the bucket on the podcast where that <laughs> happens. Fuck. Uh, you ever get in trouble for anything, Nico? Not too much. I mean, I, live, I, I take it pretty safely. Uh, I think I got a texting and driving ticket once. Whoa. I did mushrooms one time. I think Whoa. that's Whoa. <laughs> Wow, how did that go? How many tears flew out of your face that day? <laughs> Where'd you do them at? Uh, it was at uh, Pismo Beach in California. Okay, and how did that go for you? It was fucking awesome for like 10 minutes. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Best music ever playing. Then you freaked the fuck out. It got dark. Oh, shit. <laughs> Tell us more about it. Describe it for us. What was the darkness like? What exactly happened? During this trip, I want you to paint the picture. I think I finally found out something interesting about you. <laughs> D Man, you know, D Man just <laughs> wants to know what the darkness was like. Oh, shit. I, uh, I don't think it was too crazy, like on the outside. I think just in my head, I was with my girlfriend and my friend, and I just felt like they were arguing, and it felt really awkward because Whoa. I was like. Your friend's a guy? Yeah. Yeah, so this is a good, good buddy of yours. The three, it's just the three of you out there on the beach. You yeah. eat the mushrooms. 
first right. 10 minutes is good, which is interesting because that's not when they kick in. No, not the first 10. <laughs> yeah. The wow, these are fucking amazing. I love it. It's like real life. He's a cop. Uh, I like really see. Oh, the beach is beautiful. Yeah. You mean 40 minutes after you wake up right, right, midnight. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. First 10 minutes. What were they arguing about? Do you remember? I don't know. I just felt like it was like uh, little like jabs at each other or, or just being too honest with each other, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we found the worst guy to ever do mushrooms with, everybody. This is it. <laughs> This is what it looks like. You don't want to get stuck at Pismo Beach with this guy. Just like, you guys are being too fucking honest with one another. I'm fucking freaking out, man. They're not even arguing. It was confusing. Yeah. Go ahead. Describe anything else. Any other highlights? Did you fall asleep, mouth down in the sand at one point or anything? Uh-huh. No, the beach was great, but the sun started to set, and then we had to start getting home. And we were only like a block away, but I felt like it was like a year to get there, and I was lost, and I felt really scared. Oh my! And my girlfriend, she was like, "I know where we're going," and I was like, "I don't think you do. Like this is, (laughs) this is bad." Wow! Did you guys end up making love, you and your girlfriend that night? Do you have mushroom sex? No, I don't even know if I knew how to anymore. I was. I was gone. (laughs) Wow. Wow. Brutally honest. I love it. (laughs) There it was. We got a little something out of you, Nico. That was like milking a fucking uh, billiard ball or something like that. But we got a little, squeeze a little liquid out of you there. Uh, D Madness. This guy's wild back there. He's having fucking acid flashbacks. uh, Nico Jordan, congratulations on getting pulled out of the bucket. Good job. Thank here's you. A, here's a, here, take a joke book. Have an so official much. Kill Tony joke book made by the great Bones Eye. That's real Texas leather right there. All right. That's he had a it. great set. Yeah. Yeah, cool. it was good. I thought Nico was very funny yeah. for a year in. Yeah. Boring as shit, but funny stand up. Yeah. yeah. His interviews suck, for sure. All right, this should be interesting. He's got a good name. Make some noise for Austin Apostle, everybody. This is, without a doubt, the Kill Tony debut of Austin Apostle. I would remember that name if I've seen it before. Here he comes. One more time, Austin Apostle. Thank you, thank you very much. So I just moved here, had to pack my entire life into my car, had to leave a lot of things behind. My mom called me today, she's like, Austin, I just want you to know that I'm gonna hold on to all of your old toys for when you have kids. I'm like, thanks, Mom, I don't really want my kid playing with my Chris Benoit action figures, so if you could, you know, maybe not, I don't know. Not a lot of wrestling fans, fair enough. Uh, special move was a diving headbutt. They should have just called it CTE. I'm just saying, like, what the fuck? Uh, I drove by a sign today. Drove by a sign, and all the signs said was slow children play. I bet they do. Hmm? I bet that they're not out there, you know, passing exams and excelling in school. They're playing with one another, you know? Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to... Fuck yeah. All, All right. right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I have a feeling you didn't believe in that last joke either there, no. huh? <laughs> you really hit the brakes. Austin Apostle. Welcome, Austin welcome. Apostle. How are you, sir? Uh, pretty good. Pretty how, good. Pretty how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, a little over three years. Three years? All of it here in Austin? No, I just moved like three days ago. From where? Uh, from Connecticut. Connecticut. Okay, one of those. That's that's this is the sense of humor of Connecticut. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, like. <laughs> and you've been doing it there, what Hartford? Um, well, I lived like right in between Hartford and Sp- where exactly did you live? What city? Stanford. En- Enfield. Where? Enfield, Connecticut. Okay. So, so your parents are rich. Uh, no. <laughs> no. What do your parents do? Uh, one of them's dead, and the other one's unemployed. So, <laughs> complete opposite. <laughs> Man, unless one of them had life insurance, that ain't rich. <laughs> no, no, it's... Yeah, which one's unemployed, mom or dad? Mom. Mom's unemployed. Wow, this, is, this could be the, one of the saddest interviews in the history of the show. <laughs> uh, what did she do before she was unemployed? 
I uh, worked at a deli. At a deli, yeah. right? That that ain't gonna fucking no, put, that that ain't gonna bring home the bacon. Not bringing home. No. Um, how about Dad? What did he do before he died, and when did he die? Uh, he was a machinist. He died. I don't know, like oh, another Christian Bale <laughs> reference right there. <laughs> like like five years ago. Five years ago, yeah, from yeah. what? How did he die? Honestly, uh, some crazy disease I can't even pronounce. I don't know. I, was like, wow. I just chalk it up for cancer. Okay. Some sort right. of cancer. A- absolutely. You got it, Austin. Yeah. And indeed, this is the lowest we've ever been in the show's history. Yeah. It is a <laughs> new bottom. Uh, Austin, what do you do for a living? Uh, I was an accountant, and now I am also unemployed. So, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Following, Following in mom's yeah. footsteps. <laughs> you know? Incredible. So how are you surviving? Uh, well, I saved a kind of little nest egg, I, but then it was mostly invested in cryptocurrency, which was a huge mistake, so right. I am barely surviving right now, to be right. honest. How, how bad are we talking about? Since we made it this far and it seems to be interesting, how much exact, exactly how much money do you have? Uh, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. When I, I think honestly, of, when, I, when I think of questions that I haven't thought of in the nine years of doing this show, I get really proud of myself. This is one of those moments. I want to get within $1,000 plus or minus. If we have to check, if we have to open up your Chase checking app right now, <laughs> how many do you think we should find out exactly how much this guy's worth? All right. Let's find out. Because there are a lot of Texas oil tycoons here, uh, and they might be willing to uh, give you money. Can we I, all I, guess? I, I, I highly I, I fucking doubt it, but... <laughs> Honestly, it's probably like 10 grand, 15 grand. But it was ah, at like 40 rich. grand. That's American rich. What yeah. are you talking uh, about? I, what were you going to guess? That's all we... What were you gonna everybody's guess? only got 10 grand. <laughs> what were you going to guess? I was going to guess $370. <laughs> that's, that's very, very low. Very no, low. I would have I guessed four or 5,000 for you. What were you going to guess, Dave? That. I, I'd have gone like three, four thousand because he said he moved here with a nest egg. He's yeah. really not much, but I figured he had to have something. He yeah. be penniless out here. Yeah, yeah but his you know, mom was worked at a deli. I thought maybe three hundred and seventy dollars was like the richest thing he's ever heard of, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. It's unbelievable. Austin. So you're living here. How do you plan on surviving? Like what's your uh, living situation? Do you have roommates? Uh, I got one roommate. And uh, I don't know. I've just been applying for jobs. Right. Seems like. All I, different kinds of jobs? All different shit, yeah. Right. I don't want to have to go back to accounting because I fucking hated it. So I'm basically just applying for anything. Okay. Uh, what do you do for fun? Um, I did a lot of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> drugs? Um, really? Yeah. You're on drugs too? I am, I am. I had this like weird like thing that I did growing up where I would do a new drug every Christmas. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. I stopped at crack. Like I went through crack, but I okay. didn't go much beyond that. And last year you invented you <laughs> last year you invested in crypto, so I'm guessing ketamine was the drug of last year, right? That's why I stopped at. I stopped yeah. at ketamine, yeah. You can't say you stopped at crack. Drugs stop at crack. That's the <laughs> most serious drug. That's true, but maybe that's why I stopped. I stopped at the end of the line. What's the most fun night you've ever had? Like, what was, what's, a, what's a crazy night for Austin Apostle? Uh, I jumped... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I jumped off the stratosphere in Vegas. Pretty hammer. That was pretty cool. That's cool. Stratosphere. You jumped uh, off it. It's like a hotel. You bungee jump Oh, it's jump like off. a bungee jumping yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you jumped off a building and survived for a second. I was gonna that be like, would wow, be fucking look wild. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Absolutely amazing. Uh, but you bungee jumped. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's your love life like, Austin? It's pretty non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> pretty non-existent. I, uh, I just uh, updated my Bumble, though, so these bees are stinging. So. Uh-oh. I'm All ready. right. What was the change exactly that you made on your Bumble? What just did my you get location. Rid of the... My location. Oh, wow. That's it's basically wow. it. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. You run your bumble just like a uh, like a typical uh, sex offender. Yeah. You just have to <laughs> let the people know that you've arrived. You know what I mean? All right. So the last time you got laid, what was that like? Who was that with? What was, type of uh, roofie did you use exactly? <laughs> it was actually with another comedian's girlfriend, and it uh, Whoa. blew up in my face. Oh, we struck gold, everybody. <laughs> this is exciting. What comedian? 
Uh, what her name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nah, let's not. Yeah, How did that happen though? That. She cheated on her boyfriend with you? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. And so, uh, is, are, are you glad? Are you happy? Was it worth it? Or is it awkward now? Because you see these people all the time. Well, I don't see her now because I just moved like oh, 2,000 miles across the country. Oh, this a Connecticut comedian. Yeah, 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 Connecticut. Okay. Yeah, so. You but hated no, this com- comic then, I guess, right? You, the guy that, you knew the comic also, oh, the yeah. guy? Yeah, we were actually down here in Austin together like six months ago. Why? Whoa. So what did he do to you to make yeah. you like go on a podcast and re- advertise this shit? Yep. That's a very good point. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think of it. You asked it. I'm trying to be honest here, and I totally fucked that up. But, uh, Dude, you're doing a good job. It's okay. Yeah, Trying yeah. to be honest is half the battle. But, um, Wait, so he doesn't know? No, he's well aware. No, oh, so he hates he's... my guts. Yeah. But so now you got to like apologize to him again? Like, you got to be like, listen, all right, first off, one more time, sorry for fucking your chick. By the way, I did kill Tony the other night. It might have come up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a very good point. I guess I got another phone call to make after this. Is he still with her? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did they try to make it work out for a little bit? Afterwards, yeah. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah, you guys will never be friends again. No, we're fucked. Yeah. (laughs) But you will be Eskimo brothers forever. Yeah. Um... Yeah, awesome. and, that, and that story didn't make you look bad in front of anyone else either. Like, I don't know why you would advertise that. Like, well, I mean, they weren't like still together. They like broke up. I I thought they were broken up, and um, uh, and they were broken up technically. So uh, it was like it was like a four or five day period or some shit. Wow, wow. five days. Oh so I feel like I didn't do anything wrong. You know? <laughs> yeah, you, kind of you could do a lot in I five feel like days. I'm fine, as we learned with Hans and Elise, you can do a lot in five days. <laughs> Austin, congratulations on getting pulled out of the Thank bucket. You very Here's much. a joke book. Take one of these. This is handmade by Bonsai. Real Texas leather. There you go. There you go. All right. Should we get another regular up here, huh? This guy joined the rotation just a few weeks ago, ladies and gentlemen. This is the brand newest regular on Kill Tony. He performs when David Lucas isn't here. You're going to love him. It's Ellis H, everybody. Here it is. Ellis H. Damn, this shit was higher than a motherfucker. All right, y'all. Social media, it's cool, man. It got its pros and it's got its cons. One of the pros is it connects you to every single body you know. The problem is, or the con is, it connects you to every single body you know. It ain't great, man, I'm telling you. For ex- you don't need to be connected to everybody you fucking know, man. For example, I don't know, it was my birthday. A coworker said, happy birthday. Pretty simple, right? Then my mama wrote on that bitch, oh my God. Happy birthday to my oldest son. May God bless you in all of your ways. May you shoot amongst the stars, because even if you fall, you will land amongst the stars. <laughs> and then my homeboy from the fourth grade, uh, Pookie, he hit me up, happy birthday, my nigga. Hope you bust that birthday nut. <laughs> and then I was like, dude, I got church members on this shit. And then my mama commented, actually, he's allergic to nuts. I said, mama, that's not the same nut. This woman talking about cashews and shit. Alice H. That's the end of his set. Shout out to uh, Jake, Jake and Ashley for all the way from Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh, happy birthday, baby! Hell yeah! Are you giving shout outs to random what audience members fuck? right now? We met in the bathroom and shit. He was like big fan. And then Jesus, I'll... Alice, focus right now. Oh my god. It's That's all it sh- takes I, I, is a fucking random ass person in the bathroom to. No, like he. I've never seen. I, this is like if ADD and BET had a baby. This is incredible. What's going on oh, here? Oh shit! You are a distracted know. young man. I don't know why. I think it's so funny that he literally just finished and it went to you and he went, "Oh shit, dude from yeah. the bathroom." Yo, what's what up? up? <laughs> My man, from the, we were we were pissing together. Hey, let's yeah. go. Let's go. Our urinations are matched up. I love it. So let's talk about it, LSH. That was a long setup to get to the bust that birthday nut joke. Uh, <laughs> So you did have a birthday recently, or is this just an older joke? I had a birthday recently, in October. Okay. So it's relatively. Yeah, relatively. And what did happen? Did you bust that dat birthday nut? 
Yes. You did? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. It was great. It was great. Yeah. And by the way you're dressed, I'm guessing that you broke into a person's home and just uh, <laughs> took advantage of them. Hey, we don't talk about that, Tony. I, I yeah. told you that uh, in the green room. Don't be... Oh, now, last crazy. week, I made fun of you. You were wearing a suit and you had black dress shoes on. This week, you are wearing what appears to be literally a worse pair of shoes. Uh... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, screw screwball peanut butter whiskey, y'all. Let's get a name out of this bucket. I don't want to get roasted. Ellis, again. get the fuck back up. <laughs> Swear to God. You've only been a regular for three weeks. Don't make me fire you. Uh, it, would be so, it would be so black of you to get fired after three weeks. The guy literally uh, worked for three minutes. He worked for three minutes, and then he clocked out. He packed up his shitty shoes, and he left forever. I love it. Alice, let's talk about life. How's it going, man? How's stand-up hey, man. been going for you? You didn't move the mic stand tonight. It was like watching the fucking, uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to say here. It's, that, it would be racist if I said what I was just thinking. So I'm not going to. We're going to plow forward. But you didn't move the mic stand. Why do you think that is? Why well, I didn't move the mic stand? Yeah. I just didn't feel like moving the mic stand, I guess. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Minimal amount of work, I understand. I mean, yeah. um, you, you still haven't moved the mic stand, though. I it's okay. Think. At this point, Red Band, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, what do you do for work, Alice? I don't know if I've ever even asked you that. I am a Lyft driver. <laughs> I drive for Lyft. Hey, shout out to you. I probably picked you up. Oh, shit. More friends over he there. He picked me up in the Quiznos. That's it. So you're a Lyft driver. What kind of car are you driving? A Nissan Rogue. Wow, Nissan and, Rogue. And see, that's what that's my boy right there. You have a Nissan Rogue too? Oh shit. That shit reliable turning, it'll get you where you need to be. Oh my god. Ellis, there's so many interestingly like white lesbian woman qualities about you. A Nissan Rogue. Wow. Mm, I love Shana, uh, what's that gun? Um, looks like we made it. Look how Shania Twain is the shit, dude. Oh shit. Still the one I want. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's enough for that. I'm sorry. All right, trying to hundred percent. You got it, Ellis. What'd you do today? What does a normal day in the life of Ellis look like? When you wake up, what's the first thing that you see? I don't want to be like the stripper girl, but I like YouTube videos too, though. <laughs> I, I, like, I was like, damn, I watch YouTube videos. Yeah, I like interesting shit. I like to learn interesting things. Like, what kind of YouTube videos did you watch today? Oh, exactly. um, seven songs that are, like, misinterpreted. Like, you know that song, like, who let the dogs out? Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. yeah, that's about feminism. I that's what? That shit. It's about feminism. Feminism? Yeah. Yeah. It's about catcalling. I can't make this shit up. Really? Wait, yeah. That song is about feminism? Yeah, really? it's about feminism. So like, the, are the feminists the dogs that are let like out? The, so the, dude, so the dudes are catcalling the chick or whatever, and then he, like some part, the, the lady yelled out, who let the dogs out? Because they're hollering at her and Oh, shit. they're acting like dogs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The men catcalling are acting like dogs. Wow. <laughs> wow. I always liked that song until now. Yeah. <laughs> now that I know it's pro-feminism. What a horrible song. Yeah. Yikes. The Macarena? Y'all know the, the Macarena? Yeah. Oh, my God, oh, my uh-huh. God. Yeah, fuck that bitch. It's about a woman who cheats on her husband. Are you serious? I swear to God. No way. The fucking Macarena? The, the, the bitch do the dance thing? Play the song. She goes, the boy wants me or some bullshit like that. Look at the lyrics. I <laughs> Look at the up. lyrics. <laughs> I love it. Seven songs that are misinterpreted. Okay. Wow. So what do you do after you watch YouTube videos? You work out? You exercise? Yeah, I work out. Yeah? What kind of workouts do we do? I went to, um, oh, I do bench press and shit like that. All right. Prison workout. I get it. Okay. I was was at a, what's it called, a Planet Fitness, but Uh they have, like, all these regulations and shit. Like, they don't want you to yell or throw down the weights. (laughs) I'm like, what the fuck do you want me to do then? Like, if I got something heavy, I'm just supposed to be... What noise do you make? You when don't make no noise. You just fucking grunt it out. No oh. Noise. But what noise do you want to make? Yeah. You said that you were mad because you couldn't yell. Because if it's a heavy weight, fellas, who live waste in this bitch? Make some noise. Wow. Yeah, y'all ask me. Ladies ah! only. Okay. You be out here screaming, and if it's heavy as fucking, you max out, you... Ah! Wow. There's a fucking vein in that motherfucking neck. Don't talk to that son of a bitch. He's working right. his hardest. Yeah. Don't do it. If you see three veins in that man's neck, leave him the fuck alone. He's working on his set. Mm-hmm. So how long did you last to Planet Fitness? Um, I just did like, what, like 30 minutes on a treadmill and then just 
about like, I don't know, hour 30, something like that. Hour 30. One time, and then you were gone forever. You never went back. No, I, I go every fucking, like, Tuesday. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuesday. So it's coming up. Is there a special deal on Tuesdays or something? Is there a reason why you pick that day in particular? I just was like, man, I just need to get my shit together on Tuesday. Tuesday just seemed like a day you get your shit together. Like, yeah. it's like, I got to get my life together. Monday was fucked. Tuesday, I got to get it. Yeah. I, I have that some... may sound weird, but that made total sense to yeah, me. Yeah. That's, that might be the true lazy comedian in me, but yeah. I was like, yeah, you're not going to do shit on Monday, yeah. obviously. Yeah, I agree. But now that you regularly perform on Kill Tony, I might suggest switching it to Monday. Uh, you might want to get your shit together on Mondays, <laughs> the day that you perform in front of a big sold-out live audience. Man, I, man, fuck out of here. Hold oh, shit. What's happening here? Hold on. Oh, shit. Already a better stripper than Elise, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the? Fuck? Oh! Bitch. Whoa. You don't see, Jason? You see this shit? Oh shit! You see it? Oh I'll shoot my your fucking God. face off! I can't L- point them at nobody. Look at those! That is incredible. Hey, y'all like this T-shirt of me? That was me back in 1988. Wow! Hell yeah, black don't crack for real. That's a real thing. Your ice cube? Yeah. I am Ice Cube. Where did, wait, where did you get dude. that? Did you get, uh, You're asking him where he bought his shirt, Red Band? Oh. I took a picture of myself and just scanned it on the bitch. Oh, wait, that's not Ice Cube. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Ice Cube. Yeah. It's Ice Cube. Yep. It's 100%. Me. Uh, okay. Fun times, Ellis. You did it again. Another brand new minute from Ellis H. Back to the bucket we go. Let's keep this fun thing moving along here. I'll take a drink, by the way. I'll take a Crown and Coke. Uh, I have a Jack and Diet. Thank you. Thank you so much. How about a hand for the amazing staff here at the Vulcan? Yeah, we'll have uh, another one of Dave's beers, too. Yep. Yep, yep. All right, your next comedian goes by the name of Maddie Stew. Here we go. Maddie Stew is next. You guys having fun out there? Here comes Maddie, everybody. One more time for Maddie Stew. Do you all know the president only makes $400,000 a year? I wouldn't show up either, man. They say you're as old as you feel. If that's true, my uncle must be 11. (laughs) And I felt 37 that night. That never happened, so. Guys, we don't take mental health as serious as we should in this country. And you know that's true, because they let people with special needs on dating apps. Look, I'm just saying, times are already rough. Now you expect me to deal with the fact that even a girl with Down syndrome doesn't want to have sex with me? You got one extra chromosome, you think you're better than me, huh? When I was in third grade, my teacher told me to get on the ground and sit Indian style. So I loaded my musket and shot her. I refused to stand for that kind of bigotry. There you go, Maddie Stu. All right. That's a brand new minute from Maddie Stu. This is your first time on the show, right? Yes, sir. Okay, welcome. Where are you from? Uh, originally from L.A., but I've kind of been all over since. So, all right. Yeah. You were born and raised in L.A.? Uh, born in Connecticut, moved to L.A. when I was five. I grew up in Valencia. Actually, Nico Jordan, who was on the first, uh, the first comedian, uh, were from the same high school. No one asked. In Connecticut? Sorry. No, in, in, in Valencia. Okay. Yeah. But you weren't the comedian in Connecticut that the other comedian fucked your girlfriend. Um, it's a lot of weird connections here. There's a weird Connecticut yeah, thing going no, on. No, Connecticut, it had, Connecticut's not important. Sorry about that. Wait, gotcha. you and Nico went to the same high same school? Same high school, yeah. Do they just breed psychotic looking white dudes? For sure, yeah. <laughs> you ever been to Valencia? <laughs> yeah, sort of, kind of. It's like the Modesto, but a little bit farther south, right? Six flags, baby. Yeah, yeah. white trash. What do your parents do? 
Uh, my dad uh, brokes insurance. Uh-huh. He's retired. Yep. Uh, my mom was a stay-at-home mother. She did okay. very good. And how about you? What do you do for work? What do you uh, do? You currently, t- take un- people out on Lady Bird Lake or something like that. Uh, your boat guide. Upon request, yeah. What do you do? Uh, I'm currently unemployed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, this booming economy here in Texas. We're finding the only unemployed people here. When's yeah. it, how long has it been since you had a job? Uh, I'm, I just got out of the military. Oh, an American hero. How about a hand for this guy? <laughs> what do you do in the military? Uh, I, was, <laughs> I was in the Navy. So you a what? Been? I was in the Navy, so... Okay, what do you do in the Navy? Uh, expeditionary, I, I deployed to the Middle East uh, about a year, year wow. and a half so ago. so where'd you visit? Uh, we, we were in Dubai, so... Oh, that's not that bad. Uh, yeah. Dude, that's great to just, <laughs> no, say, was... to just say I deployed to the <laughs> Middle East, and we're all thinking, yeah. like, oh, dude, you were in the middle of it. He's like, yeah. no, nah, I was chilling in Dubai. Yeah, I, that was... Yeah. Uh, Totally I was, friendly country. I was on the 700th floor of a skyscraper uh, <laughs> looking down at the peasants below. In- That's so great. I just I deployed to the Middle East, you know, with the military. Like, what did you do? I uh, guarded a billionaire as he raped a bunch of his <laughs> slaves. But, Someone, uh, someone's got to do it. You a know? true American hero. Someone's got to do it. So you're welcome. Wow. Did you have fun in Dubai? Dude, it was fucking great. Tell, tell us... <laughs> Tell us the highlights. His there's, there's, fucking brothers uh, are over in Afghanistan. Like, yeah. did you have fun? They're like, I held my buddy's head in my lap <laughs> while he was bleeding out. And he's like, dude, it's a fucking party uh, over there. Ins, 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 ins. They're like, oh my okay. God, is that rapid fire machine guns behind you? It's <laughs> funny you say that. I actually went to a Machine Gun Kelly concert on that. Wow. Tour. The only machine gun he touched in the Middle East. Was Machine Gun Kelly took, absolutely uh, incredible? Took a couple shots to the liver that night. That's about it. Yeah, because you you can't, can't. I thought you can't drink in Dubai, or you can drink. I've in already Dubai. said too much. Oh, uh, okay. But um, I'm I'm out now, so right. I got fucked up a lot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Navy, and now you're Shit, unemployed. Sorry, dude, my bad. Over here, hit you're unemployed. Symbol there. Okay. Maddie, 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 you hit the symbol. It's I'm, okay. You're on a live show still. It's all right. You with me? I'm here with you, Tony. Okay. So you're unemployed. What's your plan? What types of jobs are you looking for? Um. (laughs) I think I found the first problem with finding a job. Well, I... uh, This... Oh, you're just going to make money off stand-up comedy forever. Well, you know, I'm I'm in it for the... Okay, uh... I just got... I had an interview today with a, with a little uh, security company. Okay. You know, so, All right. That's not an interesting How long have answer. you been doing stand-up? Uh, for about seven months. Seven months? Yeah. Oh, that's really good for seven months, Maddie. Thank you, Tony. What do you think the secret to your success is? Um, <laughs> you, the, the, the key is you don't ask what your country can do for you. And, and you guys know the rest, so. Absolutely. I like this. I bet you're really good with the ladies, right? I get a little fucking, like, a little Downsy Bradley Cooper vibe coming from you. There's a little fucking something going on. You're like a good-looking, unhealthy man or something like that. Like, there's something a little bit off, but you're, you're only... almost a great-looking guy, but there's like, there was, like, a brain injury when you were younger or something, right? <laughs> Ginger Maya. Ah... Uh... What was the question? <laughs> I heard you say I'm good looking. You have a girlfriend? You hook up with a lot of girls? Boys, what are you into? Um, I'm into girls. Yeah. Women. Women. Okay. Legal. All right. Um, <laughs> All right, you pedophile. Uh, when's the last time you hooked up with a woman? What was that like? What's, a, what's an evening with uh, Maddie Stew like? Um... <laughs> You pick, you pick them up from school. That's, that was, first of all, that was... You're that in was one a, of those Fisher-Price cars out that front. Was a, that was obviously... A, <laughs> that Your was girlfriend's a, here, Maddie. Um, <laughs> okay, so the last time you were with a woman. What uh, was that? Mo- like? Maybe a month and a half ago. You mean sex? <laughs> sure. Have you been with a woman? Uh... <laughs> Sure. So what happened that night a month and a half ago? You're at a bar. You're on a dating app. What, how so, does this start? Uh, I met her at a bar. 
Right. Um, right. She was a waitress, and then you let her sing on at your concert uh, a few days later, or something like that. All right, that's another Bradley Cooper reference that failed miserably. Oh, dude, that's a, that's a Go good ahead. One. You met her at a bar, and then what happens? What's your magical pickup line? You see a girl that you like, pretend like I'm her, look me right in the eyes, and give me the same line you gave her. Uh, do you know why elephants have red eyes? No, why? To hide. To hide. To hide in cherry trees. You ever seen an elephant in a cherry tree? No. It's working. Jesus. Look, look, that works? I'm not, say- yeah, I'm not saying it's wow. smart. I'm not saying it's intelligent, but it... Okay, might- so you fucked a retarded girl. Uh, <laughs> Did she have a... <laughs> that's, a that's a good callback. That's a good callback. Did she have a straw that like, she blew in to make her wheelchair go back and forth? <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Red she, band. She did red band. Yes, she did. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit lost. So the elephant thing I'm, is... Dude, no, that was just... That was, uh, it's just words to get her to ask a question. Is that the idea of it? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not good at this. No. I, no, you ended up fucking that chick. I mean, whatever works, works. Yeah, no. So, yeah, so, so no, what well, I don't I'm know why saying, it I'm worked. Yeah. It's women are retarded. Right. That's yeah. my point. Yeah. Yes. That yeah. could work. Yeah. So you say the elephant line, then what happens? You guys have a few drinks. She's lonely enough to hang out with you. And then what happens? Would you like to sit on my face? Wow, is that what you said? That is the... Uh, that, I've never seen someone be yet rapey yet give the other person all the control at the same time. <laughs> Life's about balance, dude. It's yeah. all about balance. And then what? You take her back to your place, her place? Oh, uh, we went back to my place. Okay. What's that like? What kind of trailer are we talking about exactly? Pretty, pretty close. I live in a studio. Okay. Uh, I have a dog. Okay. German Shepherd. Black Lab. All right. Close. The German Shepherd. That was, that wasn't yeah. that close. That, was, <laughs> that wasn't that close. After you guys were done fucking, did, was there a pause and then a moment where she went, seriously, what was the elephant thing? <laughs> it, actually, it actually happened mid-missionary. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Maddie Stu. You have any special skills or talents? You good at anything other than stand-up comedy? Um, like me, I'm a great golfer. I can shoot guns. I'm, I'm, I have a I, uh, w- wildly successful. I play. Uh, I play a little. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I play a little basketball. Basketball? Yeah. These fucking Connecticut well, white boys think I, they're all basketball players. They're all the LeBron James of Connecticut. Then they fucking actually, play against I actually have a funny story about okay. something that happened to me okay. here. Okay, well, you're on the right show for that. So <laughs> the, the second time I ever came to kill Tony, uh, I, I still didn't know that comics got in for free, so I paid, which is especially stupid because that means I thought that the comics stood in that corner by choice. It's just fucking idiotic. But anyways, so I was upstairs, and one of the bartenders... I was like ordering a drink, just huh. dropped and started having a seizure. And so like I, I sprung into action because I was looking around. I didn't know what to do. And like I, I'm an EMT. Oh, uh, you are? I'm not a practicing one. I have the license. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but my like, my like muscle memory kicked in. You know, I'm, I'm from the military. I have a tactical combat casualty background. Right. All the, all the, from, all the, uh, from all the tactical experience of chilling in Dubai. <laughs> Drunk people need medical attention too, Tony. Right. But uh, so, anyway, so, so like, the bartender here starts having a seizure. Starts having a seizure. So what I go do you behind do? the bar. Yeah. And uh, my muscle memory kicks in, and I'm just like checking this dude for exit wounds and shit. I watch right. the guy not get shot. Right. I, at one point, I like ripped off my belt for a tourniquet. Uh, he didn't need one. Did you, wow. now, you're the guy that did mouth to mouth to him, right? Well, no, he was foaming. I, I didn't. He was I, foaming out of the mouth. Yeah, that's not recommended at that point. But right. I, so. All of your training was completely unhelpful in this yeah. situation. You did nothing. You just watched the foam come out of his mouth. And this well, I, I made people think it was under control. That's something. <laughs> That's pretty good. You know? That counts you calm, you calm, you'd bring the, the heart pressure, the blood pressure, whatever, down. I'm a little drunk. I should have said that in the beginning. <laughs> okay. You're okay. You did good here. You did good, Maddie Stu. Uh, congratulations on getting pulled. Fun times. Take a joke book. Here's a joke book for you. Take this, Maddie. Take it. Run for your life. There you go. There's a fist bump. Sure. <laughs> Triple bonus. And, yeah, thanks nice for helping that guy out, our favorite bartender. Up there. Yeah. Again, how about another hand for the staff here at Vulcan? If you don't tip them, 
more than 20%, they will have a seizure. So if you're wondering how that happens, it's bad tips. All right. Pulled another name out. Let's see what happens here. Make some noise for Lucas Turner. We're getting through it here tonight. Could it be another boring white man? We're going to find out. Nope. Here's Lucas Turner, everybody. What the fuck is up? What the fuck is up? Okay, I know I look like the brown Adam Sandler. Uh, yep, don't even start with me. Okay, I hit my head on ketamine, and I've never been the same. Anyways, Hans Kim, ladies and gentlemen, he's been doing real good, and he answers all of his texts. Now, I chill with him. He's kind of like a holographic Pokemon card. He's looking better. He's dressing better. It's going to be worth more with time. Does it? Uh, <sighs> I was born in a third world country, but I still got first world problems. <laughs> that laugh is killing me, lady. Um, oh, man. <laughs> Hold on. It's coming to me. That's it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah. No, we know that's it. Yeah, that's uh, it. That's it. That's how the show works. You don't really even have an option at this yeah, point. Yeah, I tried. If you would have said that's it 20 seconds before then, we would have been like, okay, they's done with this, that. You could have said it, but you didn't. Instead, you just stood up here looking like Mexican Jon Snow. <laughs> John Desert, we could call it, perhaps. Tony, Dave. In, in his defense, a one-minute set is very unforgiving for a 50-second brain fart. Yeah, it is. I was expecting you to do some type of magic trick or something like that with your charismatic uh, shell that you exist in. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Indeed. If, if, so if it makes sense, even as he was saying nothing, I like him. Yeah. I don't know why. But I do like this guy. Yeah, no, I know. He does. He's, he's in the pocket. He's not really as nervous as he should be. <laughs> What's amazing to me is that your name is Lucas Turner, and the guy, boring white guy, was named Nico Jordan. You look like Nico Jordan, and he looks like Lucas Turner. What the fuck do you do? What kind of unicorn do you ride professionally? What kind of pedicab are we talking about? What kind of weird-ass, not-normal fucking job do you have? You have prettier hair than Elise. <laughs> well, Tony, I'm glad you asked. I'm a server, and I'm a full-time musician in Austin, Texas, baby. Yeah. I can't believe you guys fell for that Austin trick he did there at the end. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You could say that at the end Guitar, of Guitar, D Madness. Hey, over here, over here. D, I'll ask the questions, you My blind bad. son of a bitch. I, Jesus Christ. What kind of... All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh, no, D, don't hurt me. <laughs> I feel like this guy's a lot of fun to have a conversation with, but I would really hate to catch him as a server. Yeah. Like, he would just be walking over to my table and be like, this guy's going to fuck up everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Not only is his hair going to get in your food, it's also going to get in whoever you went with's food, and you're going to end up doing some weird lady in the tramp shit with his fucking strings of hair. Look at that shit. Look at that locks that you have. You use head and shoulders? Bar soap, Tony. Wow. Bar soap. I love that. Okay. Very good. Um, and how do you listen to Neil Young now that he's no longer on Spotify? You go to iTunes now? You free spirit, you? Keep on rocking in the rear. Searching for a heart of gold. All right, all right. You could have done that during your set, but you didn't. Uh, Lucas Turner, so you work at a restaurant. Well, I'm not going to ask you which one. I don't want, I don't want you Applebee's, to... Applebee's, right? Crickets in Waco. Waco, Texas. Yo, you live in Waco. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. You seem like the kind of guy to Waco and Baco. Am I correct? Yes, sir. You smoke a lot of Every pot. morning. Right. You do. Yes, sir. All right. What do you like to do for fun other than play music and stand-up comedy? Is there anything else? I can do a mean round-off, Tony. What do you mean a round-off? 
I could do a round off. Uh, it's it's a a acrobatic. Uh, okay, know. let's see it. Who wants okay. to see a round off? Give me a drum roll, Michael. Here we go. Just a reminder that any accidents that happen here, neither Death Squad, Golden Pony Productions, or Vulcan Gas Company is responsible for. Whoa! Holy shit. And I was told not to do that by everybody. Uh, all the comedians told me not to do that. Yeah, because they don't want you to get the fucking crowd into a frenzy. But little do they know, that's exactly what the fuck to do. These boring ass fucks. If I found out one of those boring people earlier had a gymnast trick that they didn't do, I'd be pissed off. So, Lucas, uh, how long have you been playing guitar for? About 10 years, Tony. Whoa, 10 years. I Sir. Mean, what do you think, Matt? It's <laughs> his worst nightmare. Like, this is a, he's, Matt's playing the guitar from uh, Michael J. Fox's Teen Wolf. Um, that's wrong. It's Back to the Future where he plays the guitar. I'm such a fuck up. Uh, I mean, it's, it's worth passing it to him just to see what it looks like. Let's happen. see what it looks like. How many of you think All we right. should see this? Lucas Turner, 10 years on guitar. I'm glad it was his idea, so if he destroys his guitar, we don't have to feel guilty. Yeah. Di oh, he's asking for distortion. This is all very exciting. Oh, shit. How about a hand for Matt Mioling for letting this that was fucking great. guy... That was incredible. Obviously, he was going to be awesome at guitar. Fucking look at him, dude. Yeah. He fucking lives in Waco. He's like the next generation Branch Davidian over yeah. here. You think? It is incredible. He's like if the Mars Volta was actually from Mars. It's incredible, folks. A real gymnast Hendrix over there. What's uh, your ringtone? Like, what is your, your default ringtone that you have on your that's phone? That's exactly the next question that I was going right. to ask. It's so funny that you go into the ringtone thing, because coming off of that musical performance, I was going to uh, I got an Android, so it's just like a basic uh, ding, 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 ding. Wow. Okay. What ethnicity you are you? You can play guitar that good, but you couldn't create the basic ringtone <laughs> with your voice? Absolutely, sir. You said you're from a third world country. What Correct. Exactly, what are we talking about? Which one? Paraguay, South America. Whoa, what's Paraguay known for? Bananas or something? Dirty water and drinking with my tiny hands. Wow. Have you ever been there? No, I have not. Okay. I was adopted when I was eight months old. By a white family? By a white family in Chicago. Wow. Yeah. That's what Crowd I'm goes about. wild for white family. Yeah, Check white family. Come on, you guys. Let's go. Come on. Holy shit. Did you have a lot of adopted brothers and sisters? or were you? I'm just... an only child. Wow. Okay. You won the fucking lottery. I know, yeah, man. I know. I know. They just picked one third world baby. They weren't even like a fucking foster home with a million <laughs> of them. Just give me one. They're like, they... do you want a boy or a girl? They're like, can I have both at once? Uh... <laughs> We got it. That's how you ended up with the name Lucas Turner. Yes. It all makes sense now. Lucas. The whitest name ever. Yeah. What do you think your name would have been if you kept your Paraguayan My name? My real name, Tony, uh -huh. is Miguel. Ah. Yeah. Okay. How about a last name? What's the last name? Brizuela. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Lucas, you're a very charismatic guy. Thank you, sir. You, uh, your interview here was amazing. Congratulations oh, thank you. on... Uh, I appreciate it, man. There you go. Thank you did you. everything right. I love Kill Tony. Thank you guys so much. Here you go. Take you one of these. You're fucking awesome. Take one of these. You're the first person to ever get a big joke book after uh, oh, thank you, man. going silent the, during half their set. <laughs> but you just take it and run for your life. Should we go to this bucket one more time, huh? Well, we technically did, right? Well, we didn't really. 
You guys think we should get a female out of this bucket, huh? All right. So we're not counting Elise as a performance here tonight. All right, we know this young lady. She's always performed extremely, extremely well on this show. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Molly Vivant. be coming from somewhere. Here she comes. All right, here she is, Molly Vivant. So when I was a kid, my mom wouldn't let me drink coffee. She said it would stunt my growth. But then she let my dad beat me. So I'm not really sure what she believes. <laughs> I think conversion therapy can be a good thing. Because I've been converting ass guys into tit guys for years. <laughs> it's a little tiring, though. I wish they just put it in their Tinder bio, you know? Whether they were like formula fed or breast fed. I'm in an open relationship. Being in an open relationship's pretty weird. Everyone assumes you're some kind of horny freak. It's not the case, no. I'm in an open relationship, so when my boyfriend asked me to suck his dick, I'm just like, actually, I'm gonna phone a friend if that's okay. There you go, Molly Vivant. Dare I say, perhaps the set of the night up here. Everyone else I think flailing so. away, and you just coming in, your third or fourth time ever on the show, and you did it again with another brand new minute. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and a woman, no less. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and she takes off her jacket, and she looks like that famous picture of The Rock, I bet. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Dude. No. Oh, my no, God. True. Tony. No. Right. I'll be he's honest, right. I completely got it. I don't know. And he's right. he's I'm right. not even a big wrestling fan. It's the chain <laughs> and the shirt. Wait, I do know what you're talking about now. It was an That is so reference. far outside of your wheelhouse. I never could have guessed that's what you were talking about. I'm always looking at her chest. It's man. like if The Rock had boulders. It's incredible. <laughs> you gotta love Molly. Lots of bits, lots of tits. She's got it all, folks. Do you like my necklace? A Kill Tony fan got it for me. Does that say retarded? Yeah. Wow, that is incredible. A Kill Tony fan bought that for you? Yeah. Aw, aren't awesome. they the best? Why do you think he got you a necklace that says retarded? Um, Because I did an entire minute about how I like disabled guys. Ah, yeah. so this guy, what is he, an amputee or something like that? No, I had a lot of those in my DMs. I think he was just really supportive. Right. That's adorable. Can you tell that there's amputees in your DMs usually just because of the misspellings? How do you know exactly? Well, that, and then their picture will be like them in a wheelchair holding like an AK-47. Right. Kind of like... Always overcompensating for that missing limb. It's just something that amputees do all over the world. They can't help themselves. You would do it too if you lost a limb. You would be there with an AK-47. I just remembered why I think I have a thing for disabled people. Okay, why do you think this is? So in the town that I'm from, there was this guy named Andy. He had Down syndrome. He was like 37 and I was like 14. Oh, shit. And, was uh, he down to fuck? Y yes. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Easy. Made the joke eight years ago on the show and 17 times since then. But go ahead. But uh, he had a <laughs> golf cart that he would ride around. It said Andy's Ride on the front. And the back said, catch me if you can, coppers. And he would just speed around and I would use him for rides. Like all you the time. You met the coolest Down Syndrome dude yeah. in the history of the world? Yeah, yeah, no. And, and we hit it off, but he would text me a million times a day sometimes. It would be like, I love you, I love you, Freddy Krueger, I'm in the hospital. Like random shit. Whoa. That's and incredible. one time he like acts, he like kidnapped a kid at the park because the mom. <laughs> he did. I, I don't know how to explain this uh -huh. to you, but this guy did not have Down syndrome. Uh -huh. He was. 
just a criminal who convinced you he had Down syndrome. No, I would always ride on the back of the golf cart because I was like, if his retard strength kicks in, he could grab me. And you know what I'm saying? So I would like, I had an escape plan always. And I would just be like, can you pick me up from the park and take me to the football fields or whatever? Wow. <laughs> that's incredible. And he's just out there driving around this 14-year-old that's got the fucking, uh, the, the, the breasts of what appears to be a mother nature or something like that. You look like you breastfed planet Earth. <laughs> And water and oxygen was created from the milk that came out of those voluptuous fucking front cannons that you have, those fucking bouncy fucking... I mean, those things fucking hop around more than uh, Joni Mitchell's playlist right now. Those things are... Those things are... uh, Those things are... uh, All right. Anyway. He treated me like a queen, so I think that's what it was. He tried to make a what? He treated me like a queen, so I think that's what it was. Right. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. That's what people with Down syndrome do. They are overly polite, without a doubt. He Uh, definitely did something with you. You might not remember it, right? Like, or what what, what did he do? Yeah, but that's like... Never mind. Whoa, that. that's another set. Is that are you going to use this as a minute one day? We're going to find out more about it. When uh, what's the last it. handicapped guy that you've been with? What's the last time? Uh, you, wh- who's the last uh, disabled person you've been oh, a little uh, bit romantic with? It was actually a while ago. It was this guy with cerebral palsy, and uh, he's canceled now. He was in a pretty. Wait, he got canceled too? Yeah, he was in like a pretty good band. They were like making it, and then he got canceled. Oh, Why did he wow. get canceled? I think he did something bad to a girl. Uh, yeah. Was it Crosby, Steals, well, like and Nash? They could have, no. <laughs> but they could have just ran away. That's why I'm confused. Right. Like, yeah. Like, what a, he, like. <laughs> right. He, Who stands you know. around and lets a cerebral palsy guy hit him? Yeah, yeah. I, like, am I being a dick? Or if, if life handed you cerebral palsy, shouldn't you get, like, three rapes on the house? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't. Oh, I'm the insensitive no, one. Dave, really? It's Dave, true. This guy, have you Dave, no. There's people like me that will just do it. It's fine. Yeah. But that, that wasn't enough for him, was it? She does. She has a real fetish. She's into handicapped and disabled people. And, uh, and so this guy had cerebral palsy. What are we talking about? A little limp? A little, did he have the arm? Did he I have don't the, wanna, the wrist? I don't want to try to do it, but... <laughs> We'd just prefer imagine, if like, you did. Just imagine a like a pretty drunk person from their waist down. Like you right. know, that like if you were drunk from the waist down, it was kind of Right. Did he yeah. fuck like he was drunk from the waist down? I did I think a lot of the work, like titties in the lap. Right. Pussy in the lap. You know what I mean? Okay. I like, All right. Wow. Yeah. I ne- <laughs> Somehow you are both incredibly hot and disgusting at the same time. It's almost <laughs> shocking. Depends on exactly which part of your body I'm looking at at any given moment. <laughs> Ooh, I, you didn't like that one, huh? Woo! Found a little Achilles heel in this one. Oh, some ladies are offended on your behalf. Look at this angry Mexican lady right here. Just stone-facing me over here like some type of fucking Aztec... Uh, all right. Anyway, um, Molly... So this boyfriend of yours, you guys are in a real open relationship. So you're just out here in Austin. You having fun? What's what are we talking about? Yeah, it's fun. I've been mostly just doing my own thing, but right. You ever hook up with a normal guy and you're like, can you just get like really drunk? (laughs) Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Right. But like, sometimes I... Do you mind if before we fuck, I just give you Charlie horse and both legs? <laughs> <laughs> do you like keyboard cleaner? Yeah. <laughs> can, I let, can I let a bunch of bees sting you in the face? Uh, I'm used to Down syndrome, guys. Uh, yeah. Here are whippets. I, I would love to have you on the show Thursday. You're so Whoa, fucking awesome. Oh, Molly's on the show. Real stand-up show. <laughs> Dreams coming true. Follow her on social media at How Did Thank I Get you. So Sexy. There goes Molly Vivin, everybody. Are you guys ready for one last special treat, huh? We have one last regular, everybody. You fucking know it. He's the anchor of the show. I mean, the longest standing regular in the history of Kill Tony. Always a brand new minute. The big red machine himself. This is William Montgomery. The only way to end an episode like this. The red goat. Come on, people, make some fucking noise. (laughs) 
I got a bunch uh, of hard hitters tonight, so let's see how it goes. Let's see how this first one. Don't blame me for this whole mess. I voted for John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> Neil Young says that if Spotify doesn't kick Joe Rogan off the platform, he's not going to let Spotify play his music anymore. Can you imagine never hearing Sweet Caroline again? My buddy just got 5G on his phone, and he says the homosexual seizures aren't really that bad. <laughs> if he stays in hiding, riddle me this. Have you ever seen Aziz Ansari and Justin Trudeau in the same place? <laughs> That's probably the best joke y'all have heard in here tonight. That means Justin Trudeau likes to dress up like an Indian person. That's why... <laughs> I was a little worried. Everybody might not know what that meant, but that's the best joke y'all heard tonight, so you're welcome. All right, that's all I got. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Closing with a little, uh, little best joke of the night there, William Montgomery. <laughs> it's a tough position. You've debuted more minutes on this show than anybody in the history of the show, wow. and there you are, just hitting... Hitting homers out here. Look at you, just referencing topical things, just fucking out here talking about Justin Trudeau. I know. I'm seeing how far I can go. I'm also seeing how far I can stand up here without having to take a shit. I'm literally about to shit in my pants. I ate too, For those uh, of you that don't know, William got a new crock pot a few weeks ago, and he's been exclusively only eating soup for three weeks. Uh... And uh, I also got some uh, Raisin Bran. I actually got uh, two coupons for free Raisin Bran because I was eating f a fucking bowl of Raisin Bran the other night. And one of the grape pieces, like one of the hard pieces of grape stem was in it. And it mean, almost mean, fucking tore the, my mouth apart. You mean the raisin? <laughs> yeah, what did I say? <laughs> you said grapes. Were there grapes in your Raisin Bran? Really old. Yeah, dried before grapes? the raisin turns into the raisin, it's a grape. I was meaning a grape. Uh, yeah, a grape stem. Wow. And I sent uh, Kellogg's an email, and they sent me two free uh, things of Kellogg's raisin bran. So things Whoa. are looking up actually, finally, for the first Man. time in months. Wow. So you, you really got two free. I did. I got two coupons for free raisin bran. I love that because Kellogg's was probably like, holy shit. This is the first person who's ever complained about Raisin Bran. <laughs> yeah. I guess just send them some boxes of this shit, man. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. You've never had this before. It's yeah, like it, Apple, fucking, it like. almost fucking destroyed my fucking mouth that night. I was eating, just watching television, and it was like a fucking spike in the goddamn bowl. I was pissed, and I fucking immediately got my little laptop out and sent Kellogg's a fucking email. Wow. Who was the raisin brand guy? It was like a sun with sunglasses. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Two scoops. Like there was that, the... that son with sunglasses was sitting around a boardroom like, we can't <laughs> afford a lawsuit. <laughs> Buy him off. <laughs> bar, 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 just send him two coupons. Bar, 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 bar. <laughs> he has soft teeth. <laughs> this idiot thinks there was a grape in his raisin <laughs> brand. Bar, 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 bar. Bar, 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 bar. I love it. Yeah, 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 I tried they, to play that California off. They California raisins as well. Raisin Bran used to have a rich history of a strong advertisement. Look at them now. Now they have you out here complaining on a live podcast. <laughs> a victim of grape. <laughs> so, you uh, got the, did you cash in on these boxes yet? Yeah, I did today. You can only use one at a time. Whoa! So, so, there so is next a, visit, I'll use the other one. There is a catch. Yup. Have you thought about perhaps uh, going to different cereals? Are you loyal to Raisin Bran? No, I need the fiber right now. I'm not kidding when I say I go fucking five days at a time without taking a shit. I need this fiber in my fucking life yeah, right well, now. Yeah, what we've learned is that if you only eat soup, all you do is pee. <laughs> I TT a bunch now. I really do, just all the time. You TT? Yeah, I TT a bunch. TT? Yeah, what do you call it? From your pee pee. Peeper. Pee pee. Yeah, it's a totally different letter. You call it pee pee. I call it tee tee. Oh no, you don't. Yeah, I call it tee tee. You call it pee pee. Everyone calls it pee pee. No, no, no. 
He, he, he's talking about... We don't about care about what you have to fucking say, Red Man. Shut up. Nobody gives a shit about whatever hey, the I'm fuck trying you're to about explain to. Your... Shut the fuck up, Red hey, Man. I'm trying to explain your you kindergarten. You were doing so good tonight. Fucking... Shut the don't fuck up. It's, annoying. it's bad podcasting if you yell back. All right. All right. He's, not, he's talking about his, God, the name of his Get him off dick. the stage. <laughs> he's talking about the name of his Somebody dick. get him off. Okay. Get his ass off. I'm sick of him being up here. Okay, my voice is starting to hurt. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My voice, my throat is starting to hurt. Yeah, it's probably Uh-oh. from giving blowjobs, you bitch. Whoa. No, what the Red fuck man. did you do? Yeah, you little bitch. You little cock-sucking all right, all bitch. Right, right, Shut the right, fuck right. up. There you go. Your guys' fucking arguments are the weirdest thing I've ever been around <laughs> in my entire life. I'm new to this. Is this real right yeah, now? Yeah. Is this... They have a rivalry, and it really heated up a few weeks ago because William said, uh, let's make a truce. I don't want to argue anymore. And he put his hand out, and Red Band shook it. And William had one of those like things on his hand. And Red Band got so scared that he shuffled his gigantic <laughs> hips and broke the steel chair that he's sitting on. So he went, oh, like that. And it was the funniest thing ever. We all laughed so hard. Yeah. In the end, Red, 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 Red Band Red Red hasn't good. fully recovered. <laughs> <laughs> You looked like an idiot, Red Band. You know, you didn't. You didn't look like an idiot when you were trying to kiss me the week after he admitted right. that he Shut the fuck up! Trying to kiss me. All right. Why would How you even you think say they that? should give each other a big kiss? Right I, now? I. And put I would love it. Forever. Oh. Why don't you get, get over there? Let me get in there. Give him, give him one little peck. Here we go. The greatest moment in the history of the show. Oh my god. Please. <laughs> so stupid. All right, all right, all right. This is literally the most retarded show. I can't believe we have actual sponsors. Yellow Rose, Red Rose, White Claw. I mean, anyway. Uh, so, uh, how long have you been sober now? Shit, I don't know. Nine months, maybe. Nine months. Look at yeah. that. It's not a good thing. I don't know why y'all are clapping and cheering. Come on. It seems like you're having fun. Who needs alcohol when you have soup and raisin bread? You know what I mean? <laughs> he I mean, tasted like this, raisin bread, by the way. If this place <laughs> served soup and raisin bread, none of these people would be drinking. They would all be fucking... Yeah, drunk you would have just taken that raisin bran cut and forgot about it. What but the fuck are you talking too? about, dude? Stop. <laughs> William, don't yell at no, the I guests. Was, I was making an excellent point, yeah, by the way. Yeah, go ahead, Dave. This is a future so U.S. You, president. Yeah, so respect the office. Uh, sober you had the wherewithal to get two free brands. I'm building you up, bro. Don't okay, treat me well, like thank Red you. <laughs> William. William, you are... I appreciate it. Oh, my God. You are a... Seriously, fire. I appreciate it. Thank you. I messed up. I didn't know what you were going to say. For those of you that don't know, William has two up. unregistered guns that he keeps around him at all times. Do you have any on you, or are they in your car tonight? I have one. You have one in your waistband right yep. now? Oh, my goodness. How exciting is this? Nine months sober, angry at Raisin Bran. No, I'm kidding. I know somebody's going to murder me after this. I mean, no. I need to stop talking about the guns. It's something that keeps no. me up at night now. I think no. I made a, a really bad mistake continuing to talk about fucking pistols. Somebody's going to murder me. I, I have nightmares about it all the time now. So I'm just kidding, y'all. I don't have a uh, gun on me. Wow. No guns. Actually, I do. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Right when you think it's over, he pulls right, Now back. this guy's scaring me. All right. Just for the record, I think it was fucked up the way Brian talked to you before. <laughs> cool, thank you. Thank Sorry, you. Sorry, dude, he's got guns. I've known you longer, but he's yeah. a psycho. Yeah. What'd you just say? Huh? <laughs> no, the I was fuck saying, did you just say? No, dude, it's like a slang. It's like when the kids say, like, you know. No, like I know what it means ass? and I know what you fucking said. <laughs> uh, William Montgomery, ladies thank you. and gentlemen. How about a hand for our guests all the way from New York City? Make some noise for my good friend Dave Smith, everybody! Follow him on social media, at Comic Dave Smith. This is literally one of my favorite people on Twitter. I agree with every single one of his political views, if you're curious. If you ever want to know where I stand, I stand with future president Dave Smith. He's also famous, of course, from the Legion of Skanks podcast, our brothers from other mothers. 
And uh, we did it again. The amazing drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt is available at ryanjebelt.com for this episode. How about a hand for the band, everybody? It's the Screwball Being a Better Whiskey Kill Tony Band. <laughs> Matt Muling on guitar, everyone. Michael Gonzalez on the drums. And D Madness on the bass guitar. I see the great Avery in the corner with a bunch of Kill Tony merch. Nether Hour is about to play. We're about to have more live music and live fun right here. We did it again. Live audience. Thank you so much, Thanks, everybody. Guys. Good night, y'all.